really. So the condensate drain line for the attic furnace drains into the drain pan, you know, and is theoretically supposed to go out the secondary drain, but uh, it's not, and it's full of water, and the float switch would not kick off the unit even when turned on. Classy. This was used instead of chemicals for about two and a half, three years. It's also the reason we had to replace all three of these check valves. valves. Opened up the return vent. Dumbasses used drywall and wood for return duct work, and lo and behold, mold. Science experiment. More mold. Oh, look, there's the inside of the unit. Dumbasses. So we have just a little bit of cold air escaping. Just a little gap. Tiny, tiny little gap. No big little break. This picture you're about to see. Is it a house I came across when I used to do residential work? Love is like a fart. If you have to force it, it's probably shit. Probably. So anyone ever seen this before? Sending acidic condensate out a vent? Just look at that. Boop. Right out the side. Clue number one, something is wrong. We have moisture the bottom of our return in the drain pan. Insulation is wet to the touch. And then upon taking off the cover to the air handler, it's about two inches of staining water inside of our return. I'd say we need some work.